Hey guys, welcome to my Camino de Santiago packing video. I leave to do the Camino Frances on April 26, 2019. So we're planning to do that within 36 walking days and we've built in about um, five extra days in case we want to stay in a city a little bit longer or want to take a rest day. Fun fact, I actually walked the Camino Frances last year in August of 2018. Um, I just did the most typical part which is six days um, from Saria to Santiago de Compostela. So I'll be highlighting some of the items that I took on my trip last year that I definitely want to bring for this time around and um, some new items that I purchased. And my plan with this video is I will film what I am bringing and then I'm going to do a revised video to talk about what actually worked well and maybe some items that I didn't end up necessarily needing. Let's get started. Recording? Yes. Okay, so next important thing I want to talk about is the most important things that you're going to bring on the Camino, which is your backpack. So we'll begin with the backpack. I brought this on my last Camino last year in August and it was absolutely perfect for me. I uh, purchased it here in Spain, but you can definitely get it online. Um, it's the Osprey, Osprey Kite 36. So it looks like this. Um, some fun features that I love about it. Um, it already comes built in uh, with a rain cover. So this came in handy just to protect your stuff within the bag. Um, super, super beneficial, loved it. Uh, underneath here, you can store your heavier items. So a sleeping bag, maybe a jacket, more of your heavier items here. Then you have this nice mesh lining here. Um, I usually put maybe like a raincoat or something that I need to access really quickly. It opens from the side. So you have a side zipper for easy access to some quick items. And then here you have your jawstring. Um, uh, within here you have another zipper to open. I usually store like maybe my first aid kit or something within this top cap. And then of course there's another zipper back here, um, which is really great for easy to access, um, like your protein bars or tissues or things like that. So love that. Um, the straps are fantastic. Um, they're padded, great protection. You can adjust this area. This is very breathable, the back. And then another thing I loved about it are the straps um, on the sides. Um, so it just hangs here, very comfortable. Um, here you can store some things. I usually put things that I'm not gonna need to get right away. I usually wear a fanny belt, which I'll show you guys that later in this video, um, to hold my quick to access items, because this is kind of awkward. And then lastly, you can store your water bottles on the side here. That again is the Kite 36 Osprey. The next important thing on the Camino is what footwear you're bringing. They are the Loa Renegade boots. I'll kind of zoom in here for you guys. Um, basically why I'm deciding to go boots versus trekking shoes because primarily I already owned these. So I wore these uh, about three, I purchased them about three years ago and I wore them for to hike the Inca Trail in Machu Picchu and they were fantastic. Um, obviously, you don't really need a mountainous boot to do the Camino. I personally like having the additional um, ankle support. Uh, yes, they're a little bit heavier than a traditional trekking shoe. Another feature that I love about them and I recommend is to find a, a trekking shoe with Gore-Tex. These are the Loa Renegade hiking boots. The main recommendation is make sure they're worn in. So obviously I've worn these in now quite some time. Um, they have actually were with me on the Camino last year and I loved them. So I'll be bringing them again um, and see how they hold up. And the only other footwear that I'm bringing on the Camino with me will be my lovely handy dandy flip flops. So these everybody recommends to bring and I wore them last Camino and they were perfect. They're great for the showers and the albergues. Um, you definitely want, once you finish your hike, to take off your shoes, let your feet breathe and um, air out and um, get the lightest pair you can find. So I found these just in a local store here in Spain. Super lightweight, comfortable, easy, and uh, yeah, they'll be coming with me again this Camino. Do you go with a sleeping bag or a sleeping liner? Um, so I'm gonna show you two that I have today. So last August, I brought this sleeping liner with me, the Sea to Summit, and it was perfect. Um, basically, uh, it was great because it's super, super lightweight. Um, it's easy to just slip into, um, and I found that I wasn't that cold uh, in August doing the Camino, and I was in Galicia for that part. So this was really nice. Um, I would recommend definitely getting a sleeping liner for the summer months. Since I'm going in spring and I am 
traditionally <laughs> known to be sensitive to the cold or what they call here a friolera in Spanish, um, I've decided to go with a sleeping bag for this route since we're starting in April and hiking throughout May. The McKinley Trucker, it is uh, for 10 degrees to be at a comfort level and it's the mummy design here. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I've never actually used it before. I have treated it, just sprayed it down with some bug spray because uh, I'm not trying to get bed bugs. So that's another thing why I'm also bringing the sleeping bag. Some of the albergues, they actually, I've seen it, I've, I've been to some, they only give you like a thin sheet uh, on the mattress and that is it. Some actually provide uh, some blanket, but to be honest, I don't trust them. That's kind of how the bed bugs transfer and things like that. So I'd rather just have my own little sleeping bag. And so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this. It is extra weight. It's about a pound and a half, um, but well worth it. It's kind of your home away from home. You look forward to getting into your sleeping bag. So really excited to use this. We'll see how it works out for this Camino. Trekking poles. I will be bringing these two trekking poles with me on the Camino. I brought them last Camino and I actually just used one uh, and it was perfect for just the six days but I will be bringing both of them because I know that I will need them in a lot of the uphill and downhill parts of the Camino. Um, so this is totally your preference. If you don't feel like you need the extra support, then I'd say don't worry about it. You can always pick up poles along the way. There are plenty. I have terrible knees, so I definitely want to um, use them to assist in the downhill parts, the uphills, um, and things like that. All right, one thing I forgot to mention with the trekking poles, be sure to buy bottoms because this is definitely an annoyance that you will hear along the Camino from people walking with the poles without the bottoms on like cement. That sound can get pretty annoying after 100, 200 kilometers. Um, so definitely uh, buy some bottoms. It'll protect the poles and get rid of that really annoying sound. I'm bringing these and I also brought an extra pair just in case they get worn out. All right, the fanny pack. So this is definitely an optional item. What I love about it is it has three different compartments. So typically what I'll put inside my fanny pack is my money wallet. Um, so that way it's safe, guarded, and zipped. I have my chapstick, my hand sanitizer, my headphones in this pocket. Um, and then within here, I'll put my uh, iPhone and also my Peregrino credential. So you'll also get your stamp book, which you will want to keep with you because you want to get at least two stamps per day on the Camino. So I keep everything here. Sometimes I'll have actually a packet of tissues as well. What I love about this is I can easily put my bag down, walk inside a restaurant or something along the way, go to the bathroom, and I have everything quick accessible on my hips. So love it. I like to call it my utility bag. It might not be fashionable, but who cares? It's the Camino, nothing really is fashionable. <laughs> I will be bringing a headlamp with me. This is the black diamond headlamp. I will be waking up super early and it'll be very helpful to have a headlamp or um, a light of some sort. Some people use their phones as a flashlight as well. Um, I want to conserve my battery as much as I can, so I'll be bringing this along and tucking it on my side pocket. Um, yeah. I'll also be bringing along this battery charger. You're going to want to bring some sort of battery charger because at some point your phone, um, any kind of gear that you're bringing could uh, easily die on the Camino. Um, so it's really nice to have that extra battery source um, when it's fully charged here, this will get me through another day easily with this battery pack and it comes with a charging cable as well. It's a definitely heavier item, but I know I'll be using it. And one of the other um, things that happen along with, you know, the outlets, there's limited outlets in within the albergues. So sometimes it's nice just to be able to charge within this. Um, when you have limited outlet sources. All right, some other essentials, sunglasses, when that sun's coming in hot. I'm also bringing an extra pair of laces um, because my boots, since they are a little bit worn in, I'm not sure if the laces can break on me and I'd hate for them to break in the middle of the maceta, for example. So just as a backup, super lightweight, why not? I'm bringing this day pack because it's super helpful when you finish uh, your hike for the day, you drop off your things at the albergue and you wanna go out for the evening, um, or if you wanna send off your back backpack for a day for walking and you need something light just to carry your items, this is super awesome. It folds up like this and becomes a great bag just to put your sun cream, your water bottle, any kind of bars, your wallet, things like that and you strap it on on the back. So 
Loved it. I brought it last Camino. It's perfect. Super cheap, super lightweight, and uh, I used it several times. The next debate usually is water bottle or camel pack. Um, so with my backpack, I can actually use a camel pack if I wanted to. I'm going to opt for the water bottle option just because I know that I want something quick just to pull out. I don't want to have to worry about refilling it, having to take everything off. Um, just for the ease and comfort of it. And I also like to know exactly how much water I have. With the Camelback, it's, you can't physically see it. Um, so yeah, I got a 750 milliliter bottle. Um, I'd say one to two liters is enough. It's super lightweight um, and it's the one with the straw. So this is really just a personal preference. Um, I've seen people also bring uh, the foldable water bottle so you can fill it. Definitely thought about bringing that as an option. But I know myself I'm going to want to like quickly grab it with one hand and not have to worry about using two hands and so just something easy to have at my bed maybe. We'll see how this water bottle does. Next up, my microfiber bath towel. It's from REI. I've used it before. Um, obviously I didn't purchase it here in Spain so this came from the States from me. Uh, with me and it's got a nice little pouch that um, you can hang in the shower or wherever you are. So I love that it's got a hook. You can use this pouch for other things as well so it's definitely versatile. Here's the towel. The length I love. It's perfect for me. Um, it's all the way, as you can see, a full towel. You Sometimes you're in shared spaces, it's awkward, it's uncomfortable. So something that can really wrap my full body is something that I'm looking for. It dries super quick and it also has a little loop here that you can hang as well. So love this towel. Uh, it will be coming again on this Camino with me. Let's talk clothing. So I'm probably bringing more than I need to. But at the same time, I know how I am and I like to stay warm and be comfortable. So these are kind of the things I have to trade off. So let's begin with a jacket. So I decided that I'm definitely bringing a jacket this time around because in August when I did the Camino in Galicia, um, at nights and early mornings, I was freezing. I had just brought like a fleece long sleeve and for me it wasn't enough. So I had regretted not bringing this jacket. Yes, it's a heavier item. It folds up and goes into this little pouch. Next item, the rain jacket. So this is a hot topic. Do you bring a rain jacket or a poncho? I was originally planning on bringing a rain jacket and I went out on a super rainy day here in Madrid, tested it out, and after the hike I realized that yes, while my top part was all dry and good, my legs and everything below were soaked and I was freezing cold. So I decided I'm not gonna go the rain jacket route. I'm definitely gonna go the poncho route. It might not be as stylish, but again, you're on the Camino, who cares? So I purchased this um, poncho on Amazon. I've already tested it out and absolutely love it. This back portion extends so you can actually cover your entire backpack as well. So if you don't have a backpack cover, you can use it. It has a nice little reflector. Um, and the greatest thing about it is it's super long. So it's going to cover down past my knees and then some. So my legs will not get wet, which I'm really, really excited about. Easy to put on it looks like this in a little ball. So yeah, highly recommend going the poncho route. We'll see how much rain we get. I'm anticipating we're walking in the spring uh, that we should get a lot of rain. So this will probably be very, very useful. We'll see. My Nike spandex shorts. I brought these last time. These are great, super, super lightweight. The reason I brought them, I wear them underneath my trekking pants and it's just a nice thin layer to have uh, in case I want to walk around the other day and I don't want to be you know, I quickly need to get out of the shower or whatever, I'll just throw these on. Definitely bringing these again. Um, this time around, I picked up another pair of trekking pants. So last year, I wore these REI trekking pants, but they don't have the zip off. So I really wanted to kind of alternate between a pants and then a pants shorts option. So I picked up some new ones here from Decathlon. I've already worn them to kind of test them out. I like them, we'll see how they do for the long stretch. But I will be bringing both of these trekking pants. Now again, you don't necessarily need two trekking pants. You can wear the same ones every day if you want, but I personally, I'm looking to 
clean one, let it dry, and then wear the other one for the next day. So I wanna give myself enough time between my clothing to dry just in case it's raining or the clothes can't dry, um, I have a backup option. The one thing I learned on my last Camino was I brought a pair of trekking pants and also these yoga pants that you can see here that I'm wearing. What I wish I had known was a lot of times you get back to the albergue and you take a quick shower. A lot of times you don't have as much privacy or you quickly need to like get changed and head out there. So it was really hard for me and being kind of wet to put on these super tight leggings. I went ahead and purchased some of these um, pants from Decathlon. They're super comfortable, they're laced inside so they'll keep me warm. And these are going to be my kind of like evening uh, sleepwear pants. Again, like I said, this is optional, this is not something that you necessarily have to bring, but I'm bringing it because I know I want to be warmer in the evenings. For me, it's just they're super, super comfortable and easy to put on, especially after a quick shower. Uh, I'll also be sleeping with this cotton shirt um, that I purchased at H&M. So this will be um, one of my shirts that I'll bring. I won't be hiking ever in this. This is only for my afternoon sleepwear. Super soft, super comfortable. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how that does. Um, the shirts I am bringing on the Camino, I'm bringing two shirts. So I'm bringing one wool shirt. So last time I walked the Camino, I brought two dry fit shirts. While they're super lightweight and easy to wash and dry, um, I noticed that they still smell really bad after the Camino, even after washing them. So I decided this time I'm going to try one wool shirt. So I purchased this one at Decathlon. It's breathable. Um, it doesn't dry as quickly. It's a little bit heavier, but it's going to keep me warmer and hopefully it won't smell as bad after a wash. So I'm going to test this one out. But in case this doesn't dry in time, I'm also still bringing a dry fit. This one is from Solomon, um, super lightweight, polyester. Um, again, the, the great thing about these are they're gonna dry super, super fast and very, very lightweight. And then lastly, I'm bringing this long sleeve. I brought this one on my last Camino, loved it. I usually start my hikes with this as my underlayer. Um, it's thin, it's from Mountain Hardware. I, I've had it for years now. Um, I love it. It's a thin, light polyester. And uh, I love that it has these little holes too for the thumbs. Um, so I start with this and then I layer and put my shirt over it. And then uh, this layer usually keeps me warm enough during the hike. Um, sometimes I'll just shed this layer and just wear this. So it just depends. And those are the shirts that I'm bringing. Next up, I'll be bringing two sports bras. Um, I've had these before, this is Patagonia. I don't know what this one is. What I can tell you is just bring your most comfortable sports bras. I'm bringing two so I can alternate each day. And I'm bringing three different pairs of underwears, um, two thongs and one just regular. This is from Patagonia. All of these three are quick, uh, quick to dry. They are very breathable. Um, so definitely pick your underwear wisely and make sure you've hiked in them before. Also bringing three pairs of socks. So I have two smart wool socks that I'll be bringing with me that I've hiked several times with before. And then this um, sock, the pair of sock that I brought last Camino, loved them. They're much lighter. They're great for the summer months, but a great hiking sock as well. So, and an optional item, but I'm gonna bring it because I'm sure we'll um, want to use uh, a pool or go swimming at some point. I just know it. Um, so I'll be bringing a bathing suit as well. And as far as that, I'll be bringing a pair of gloves along as well, just for the colder mornings and um, two knee braces. So I'm bringing these because like I mentioned, I have really bad knees. So I'll be wearing these every day on the Camino. I'll be wearing a buff band throughout the Camino. You can also use it as an eye mask if you want around your neck. And then lastly, a cap for the Camino. I decided to go with just the baseball cap, just something to protect from the sun. That I think does it for clothing. I prepared a little first aid kit in this little box. Um, basically it has some um, hand cleansing wipes. Uh, I have nail clippers, hang nail clippers, um, tweezers, uh, safety pins and some extra band-aids sewing kit as well. You'll need to use for the to pop any blisters uh, the needle um, So yeah, that'll come in handy in addition to that I purchased some compies everybody talks about you will use these so I might as well have them with me um, I have as well some like neosporin polysporin antiseptic ointment this bandage woven tape Really helpful uh, in case you are getting a blister or um, you want to wrap anything. This is really great. 
And then my own little um, kit of pills that I'll be using. So I have ibuprofen in here, Excedrin. I have some Dramamine because I've heard the bus ride from uh, Pamplona to saint jean pain de port is really nauseating. Um, and then uh, also some melatonin just to help me sleep on some of those restless nights. The most important thing in your first aid kit is this right here, Vaseline. Make sure you have it. When I walked the Camino um, last August, I wore this every single day. Every morning you lather up your feet with this stuff and then put your socks on and it just saves uh, your feet throughout the walk. Also, clothespins for some of the burgers that don't have them. Last but not least, um, toiletries. So this is an area as a woman that I've had to already slim down to uh, a good weight that I feel comfortable with carrying everything I have in here that I'm going to actually want and use. And if not, worst case, I can always toss it or give it to somebody else. So first up, my toiletry bag. I purchased this here in an outdoor store in Spain. Um, we'll see how it does, I love it. The main thing for me is that it has a hook so you can hang in the showers. So some items that I'll be bringing with me on the Camino. Uh, laundry detergent. Um, I have my rollerball deodorant. I have sunblock. My little dental kit, so toothpaste, toothbrush, and a little floss. I'm bringing a Lush bar. I brought this one here. It smells delicious. It's lemony. It's great for like oily hair, um, but you can use it as shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So it's nice, it's dry, and I get the square container because it's really easy to put back in. Then I have some Q-tips, um, I have some tissues. I'm also bringing a razor, which isn't here, but it's a small compact one. Face wash, I uh, definitely didn't bring it last time and I kind of wish I had. Face cream, so I have like a little bit of face wash and face cream afterwards, so super small compact bottles. I have my eye mask for sleeping, ear plugs, which is critical at night. I'm bringing at least two to three sets of ear plugs. Some chapstick. So I decided just to bring a rollerball perfume. Brush along the way as well, a brush, a hairbrush. And then of course my um, feminine products here in a little baggie here. And that does it. All right guys, so that about covers everything that I'm gonna bring on this Camino. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow along my journey at Simply The Bates. Thanks. So I just packed everything up, so excluding the items that I'm going to wear for the day, and I'm going to weigh it, and I'll let you guys know what my pack came out to.